This video is meant to help anybody who's struggling with latitude and longitude and finding coordinates using latitude and longitude. So what I have here is a Cartesian plane that you're probably familiar with from math class. There's an x-axis that goes horizontally. There's a y-axis that goes vertically. And if we were to try to find these ordered pairs here, the x-axis location is given here in the first part of the ordered pair. And the second number is where on the y-axis this point is going to uh, be located. So you find where the two lines intersect and that's where the point goes. So for 2, 5, we'd go on the x-axis 1, 2 over, and then on the y-axis we'd find where 5 is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we just sort of trace until our fingers meet that's where the lines intersect, right there. So, that is where 2, 5 is located. For the next ordered pair, negative 3, 4, we'd do the same thing. We'd find negative 3 on the x-axis. It's right here, 1, 2, 3. Negative 3 on the x is there. And uh, 4 on the y is the other number we're looking for. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to trace until our fingers meet. And right there is where the ordered pair would be. Negative 3, 4. And our last ordered pair right here is 1, negative 6. 1 over on the x, 6 down on the y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's actually right there. Okay, so we trace and that's where 1, negative 6 is located. So this is the math Cartesian plane. It's very, very similar to latitude and longitude. It's pretty much the exact same thing. So does it look familiar to you? The, the difference here is that instead of um, negative numbers and po positive numbers, you're going to have uh, north south, east, and west. So um, the way the earth is divided up is into hemispheres, half of spheres. And the equator divides the earth into a northern hemisphere up here and a southern hemisphere down here. So when we are looking at latitude and longitude, the numbers north of the equator are all going to have a little n next to them. So this is the latitude line of 15 degrees north. And this is 30 degrees north, going all the way up to 90 degrees north. On the south side of the equator, you have the southern hemisphere. And so these latitude lines say S, 15 degrees south, 30 degrees S, 45 degrees south, all the way to 90 degrees south. Then the prime meridian divides the Earth longitudinally into an east and a west side. So all the numbers over here to the right are going to have an E for east. All of the numbers over here, the, all the longitude lines going this way are going to have a W for west. 30 degrees west, 60 degrees west, goes all the way to 180 degrees west.
So if we want to find, let's go with 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west, we're going to look for 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west, there's 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west is there, and we just kind of trace those lines until your fingers meet right there. So again, I'm just tracing the lines, latitude, longitude, until our fingers meet right at that point. So that would be where 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west is located. You could also take rulers or any kind of straight object and sort of place them on your sheet at those points to see where they meet as well. I've seen people use rulers to do that. I've also seen people, and I myself also, um, draw little dotted lines and where those dotted lines intersect shows me where the point is located. 60 degrees north, north 120 degrees west. The next point here is 15 degrees north, 30 degrees east. 15 degrees north would be above the equator. 30 degrees east would be to the right of the prime meridian. So 15 degrees north is right there. It's written over here as well. 15 degrees north and 30 degrees east is right there. So I'm just going to trace the lines until they meet and they intersect right there. So that's where 15 degrees north latitude, 30 degrees east longitude intersects. We could take those same points and take a look at an actual map of the earth. So we have a little Mercator projection over here and let's kind of focus in on those numbers that I was just using. 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west, 60 degrees north is there, 120 degrees west is there. We just trace those lines and right at that location is where we'd put our dot. Again, it was 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west. That's in North America. You could do the whole dotted line thing to check your work if you don't trust your fingers on this one. 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west. Beautiful. 15 degrees north, uh, 30 degrees east. Let's check that one out. 15 degrees north of the equator is right there. 30 degrees east of the prime meridian is right there. We just kind of trace those lines. And that is in Africa. So 15 degrees north latitude, 30 degrees east longitude is in Africa. Let's do one south of the border real quick, or south of the equator. 15 degrees south, 150 degrees west. 15 degrees south of the equator is there. 150 degrees west is there. We trace, 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 trace until we meet and intersect. 15 degrees south, 150 degrees west is in the Pacific Ocean. So hopefully this video is somewhat helpful 
If you're struggling with latitude and longitude coordinates, remember, if you're good with the math ordered pairs, you've pretty much got this. It's very similar. The, the major difference actually is that they do switch. Um, they do switch which comes first. So which number comes first. So in math, the ordered pairs have the X first and then the Y. In social studies, they go with the latitude first and then the longitude. So um, the numbers are sort of reversed, if that makes sense. Um, but that's the only major difference you'll see. All right, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Otherwise, uh, hopefully this helps on your next test and that you do amazing. Have an awesome rest of your day and um, check back for more videos later.